Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, and for almost 50 years it has continued its endless lonely journey into the great unknown beyond our solar system. And now, it has passed through a region once nicknamed the Wall of Fire. The name sounds more like something out of science fiction, but the phenomenon is real, and Voyager's passage through this intense and mysterious region has uncovered some of the most remarkable discoveries ever made at the edge of our solar system. The heliosphere is a massive bubble of charged particles that the Sun throws off in the form of solar wind. As this stream of plasma races outward in all directions, it eventually slams into the incoming pressure of particles and magnetic fields from the rest of the galaxy. This point of collision creates the heliopause, and Voyager had to cross through this volatile region to enter true interstellar space. The reason it's sometimes referred to as the Wall of Fire is due to the unexpected temperatures Voyager measured there. Blistering levels of heat that reached between 30,000 and 50,000 Kelvin, or roughly 54,000 to 90,000 degrees Fahrenheit. You may be asking the question, why wasn't Voyager 1 destroyed as it passed through? The key to understanding why Voyager wasn't instantly destroyed by this scorching environment lies in the difference between temperature and heat. Though the temperatures in this region are incredibly high, the density of particles is extremely low, far lower than any vacuum chamber we can even create here on Earth. The important distinction is that temperatures in space like this measures the average energy of particles, not the total number of particles. In other words, each particle is moving very fast which gives us the high temperature reading. But there are so few particles that they can't transfer much energy to objects that pass through. It's like walking through a football stadium with a few bullets flying around at high speed. It's dangerous only if you get hit. But if there are very few bullets and lots of empty space, your chances of being struck are low. Voyager 1 is designed to endure the vacuum and radiation of deep space. Built in the 1970s, its protective shielding and robust electronics, combined with its small size and lack of atmosphere, allowed it to pass through the heliopause largely unscathed. There was no fiery explosion or cataclysmic end. Instead, the spacecraft quietly slipped through this invisible curtain and entered the calm, dark sea beyond, where the sun's influence finally ends and the galaxy truly begins. The existence of such a heliopause isn't unique to our sun. It's a feature, likely shared by most stars in the galaxy, that emits solar winds. Each star creates its own bubble in the interstellar medium, and each has a boundary like the one Voyager encountered. However, the exact size, shape and turbulence of these boundaries can vary depending on the star's activity and the surrounding galactic environment. For our solar system, this boundary lies somewhere between 11 to 14 billion miles from the Sun. Voyager's passage through the heliopause was not just a triumph of engineering, but a moment of poetic significance. It's the first time a human-made object left the sun's protective cocoon and entered the galaxy at large. The Wall of Fire, though dramatic in name, was not a wall in the traditional sense, nor was it ablaze in flames. It was a region of invisible heat and cosmic turbulence, a final veil through which the spacecraft had to pass to become an interstellar traveler. We'd love to know what you think. Leave your comments below. And we thank you for watching 